let me show you how to edit your live stream recordings in Camtasia. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so do you ever do video recordings on, let's say like a Zoom or a live stream platform, and then you wanna go and take that video, edit it, and then put it on YouTube, right? Well, you can take it as is, but I find that if you take a Zoom video or just like a regular live stream video that was recorded on a different platform, especially Zoom, the quality doesn't look very good. Let me show you how I spruce it up for my clients. And so what I do is I take the recordings from my clients and I visually make it look better. So I make it look like this from just this. So here's what I did. Aside from going through the whole thing and actually clipping it, so this is a podcast and so what I do is I initially go through the whole thing and I remove any mistakes, you know, dead air, whatever, things that don't need to be in the final video, I remove it from the original. So that naturally happens. And then what you see I did was I added a blue background to match with her branding. So it's actually this text right here from her logo. So let me just take like a section of her video and I'll show you exactly what I did. So we'll just ha work with this piece right here. So to go from this to this, which in my opinion, I think visually looks better and saves a bit of the aspect ratio because Typically when you're taking video footage from like a StreamYard or a Zoom, it's going to not be the greatest quality. And so there are other things that I do visually. All right, so first thing I do is I'm going to shrink this down a bit just so that the blue background is gonna show. So it's something like, it's similar like that. And you might be asking, okay, Jewel, why did you do that? Well, like I said, I want to make the video a little bit smaller because when it's full size, you can see the pixelation a little more. And I want the, the whole aspect of the visualness to take away from the pixelation. You'll understand what I mean as we go through the tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the background here I have it saved in my favorites. This is already saved as a full size background. And I suggest that you guys do something like that. Otherwise it normally looks like this. And then you have to go and size it. If you know you're gonna be doing stuff like that all the time, it's good to size it accordingly and then put it in your favorites so that it saves you time. So this is white, right? But I wanna change it to her branding. So initially you want to click on the, the, you know, the rectangle of color, the background color, go to the rectangle, click the solid, click the dropper, and then you just kind of hover over. So initially I was going to go with this darker blue here, which is her branding colors, but I thought this is too dark. I want to make this a bit brighter. So I actually went over to another part of her logo, which is lighter. So on the, the text here, and even here where the shadow is, it's, it's still in alignment with the brand, but it's a little bit lighter. And so I grabbed that one. I thought that visually looks a lot better than the darker blue, just cause I wanted to give it more of a brighter feel for her video. I want to do the same thing here with the outline. Just grab that, make sure it's the same color. Before I move on with the background and stuff, I want to fix some things on the main video. So I typically want to do corner rounding just to smooth things out a bit. Currently you see that it's just the pointed corners. I find that when you add 
corner rounding, it gives it a little bit more of a finessed look. So you can see here, it's got the, the corner rounding. If I turn it off, it looks like this. And then if I turn it on, it looks like this. I think it looks better with the uh, rounded corners. I typically leave it to the default, which is 20. And then I'm going to do a little bit of color LUT correction here on Kaylin's video. Give her a little bit more color. So I'm going to drag this on here. Now this is too much. It's the enhanced contrast. In my opinion, this is just way too much. So what I do is I typically lower it down to, let's say like a 60 around there. And you can see when you turn it off, and when you turn it on, there is a noticeable difference. Like this is like faded, kind of like dull. And then when you have the 60%, then it's a little bit, it fills in some color in the areas of the video. And then another, small thing that you don't really notice but it all adds to the detail of the video is adding a drop shadow to the video so right now as you see it it's kind of just looks like just flat on there but if you add the drop shadow again it, it's just it's all in the little details you see there's a little detail here of a drop shadow if i go to turn it off I'll turn it off. It's just more like flat, but we want to, you know, create that detail of depth and all these little details add up to make it look a lot better. And so this is looking quite similar to what I had it. In my opinion, this looks a lot better than what it initially looked like, which was this right here, right? This, a lot of people, when they input their video, they don't know that they can actually size this and stretch it out and they'll actually like leave it to that size and then upload it to YouTube. Don't do that. Make sure that you size it accordingly. So this was the original, right? And then this is the enhanced, I would say. And I think personally this looks better than this one right here. It just gives it, in my opinion, a little bit more of a polished look and takes away from the pixelatedness of what's happening in a, um, a video like a Zoom video or a StreamYard video. So that is how I make my clients' videos look a lot better. You know, if they've got a video recording from like a Zoom or a StreamYard, this is how, these are some of the things I do to enhance the video and make it better. Hit the thumbs up button if you thought this was cool. And if you want to know how we make over $15,000 a month by creating tutorials like this, head down to the description below as I will have a free training for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.